subreddit discourse and orcs panic stasis what like momentary seizure or loss of oxygen to the mind would make you think i care what my own subreddit has to say on the orcs thing 328 comments i got i saw there was some drama on twitter because there were people who were mad that i was saying that i don't like calling russian soldiers uh orcs i don't think my editors helped me out with this one because they made the video on the Vosh Pit titled Don't Call Russian Soldiers Orcs when I would have gone for a much more neutral title. And I've specifically told them not to make titles that like state drama. It seems like the editors kind of clipped me in this respect, which I don't appreciate. But, you know, I also can't micromanage every element of what I'd prefer to be like broadcasted or signal posted. Uh, but anyway, like, you know, maybe fire them. It's over for them. It's over. Fired. Stamp. Uh, but, uh, anyway, yeah, like, I stand by this. I got, the reactions that I got were people being cra- there, Dude, I saw Anna, um, not Anna Kasparian, Anna, the, the Ukrainian lady who did, like, work with some of the soldiers in the front lines. Uh, Anastasia, thank you, thank you, yeah. Uh, like, getting mad that I said not to call Morks or whatever. But I was getting Discord DMs from people being like, do you really think Ukrainians and Russians are the same? They're not like us, they're monsters, they're not human. And it's like, fuck. Like, I'm, I'm simultaneously being told, like, dude, nobody in Ukraine is unironically ethnically biased against Russians, a claim so insane that it feels like a joke to make it. And then, I, like, a ton of people being like, yeah, no, the reason we call Russians... Are... There were people in my chat being like, no, by orcs, we just mean, like, a pointed criticism of the behavior of the soldiers. And meanwhile, like, I look at the replies to the tweets, and people are freaking out and being like, no, they are orcs. They're not even people. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's so like, what am I, what am I supposed to do here? I feel like, yeah, look, this is the fucking top comment in my own subreddit. I have two main critiques I'm willing to get banned for. I'm glad you accept the price. 1941 uh, Vosh. Did you know the terms monster and Hun are sometimes used to refer generally to German people? Monster isn't an ethnic slur? And... Yeah, I feel like you probably wouldn't want to, like, I feel like you could probably make criticisms of the Nazis that aren't the Huns, because, like, that feeds into a lot of other stuff that, oh my god, that means it's problematic to refer to Wehrmacht soldiers as hunter monsters. I didn't say it's problematic, I said it leads to bad analysis. The, the, it, uh, yeah, I don't know, just a Hitlerite shit. It's, it's the, it's the, like, Venn diagram overlap with NAFO people. Orc is an ethnic slur. You, we're not doing this again, man. We're not doing you you're not baiting me. We're not doing this again. If if people are saying uh like uh Russians are orcs, that is how things become ethnic slurs. It's not like crazy problematic. Russians aren't like a oppressed minority. I just don't think it adds positively to the discourse, you know? Yeah, they're marginalized by Vladimir Putin, that's true. Yeah, no kidding, Masagui. Twitter's having a fucking field day. Black in the Borg, the only time you ever chat is to inform me that people outside of my community are mad at me. Also, look at this. I also just don't take this seriously from Mr. They're Demons folks and they want you dead referring to American conservatives. This is like, this is me unironically like, this person in my community is saying, yeah, it is an ethnic slur, but it's okay because you think Nazis are monsters. Like that, like that's actually the level that we're operating on here. It's fucking crazy, dude. These NAFO liberals. Gotta be a DGG. -er. It's liberal. I'm telling you, anytime we have liberals like this, or anytime we have issues with the, like this, it's fucking liberals, man. It's people with like an overlap in my community. Uh, what's NAFO? A group of like super cringy, uh, like Hitlerite liberal anti rush They're not all Hitlerites. Some of them are. Uh, look, my my opposition to Russia uh, in this Russian Ukraine conflict has always been very like principled and informed. But what I'd like to believe is a pretty material sense of things. Uh, there are a lot of people for whom it's just like gung ho West destroying filthy Russian Soviet, you know, uh, imperial like remnants and to, to stuff like this, I have no respect. I saw a lot of the Ukrainians I follow on Twitter get mad about sweaty, balding Slavic people go to the trenches. Something they wouldn't get mad about had I only said it about Russians, which I have. So again, I don't care. No respect for double uh, standards here, folks. It's about Western chauvinism for him, which is why many of them also support Israel. Yeah, this is the issue that I had with fucking... Um, 
uh, uh, non-credible defense, where non-credible defense was like really pro-Ukrainian, and then the fucking October seventh happens, and all of them are like, "Yeah, look at the look at the idea. Look at how quickly they're raising Gaza. Look at the fucking bombed out ruins that used to be a thriving and extremely dense urban center. Yeah, yeah, hoorah!" And it's like, "Oh, you guys don't care about like any of the principles you claim to care about. You didn't like Russians because they were on the other team, and you don't like, uh, you you don't like them." Uh, you know, the other team. One point of criticism is that you implied that dehumanization didn't apply when you were referring to cops and Republicans when it does, that they think it's okay when you make a choice to become a cop or a Republican. It, the problem is, is that, like, people are always reaching for desperate gotchas where they're like, oh, well, doesn't this technically count as something? They're not engaging with the art. This is what I've said before. What's the line? Conservatives in lieu of an argument, like, grasp for imagined hypocrisy or something like that, where they're like, rather than engaging with what you said, uh, uh, in your 40,000 hours of talking, you said this. And it's like, that's not you're not saying anything you're not engaging you know like there's a million ways you can tear this apart the fact that cops are a job that being a conservative is an ideology not an ethnic group uh the fact that like some insults pull upon like historical uh sort of trends or tropes for ethnic bias and alienation and some really don't you know uh it, it's uh it, it's just not there, there are like massively different comparisons. Why is it like dehumanizing to call people rats, but not to call someone a lion when a lion and a rat are both like kind of around the same level of intelligence in terms of like brain processing power? Why is one of those more dehumanizing? Well, we have like an arbitrary set of social standards that eulogize lions and make them like a cool animal to be, whereas like not so much with rats, because rats are like stinky or something, you know, even though the rats are pretty cute. Uh, you know, why is calling somebody like dogs, like da da da, like dogs, uh, negative, even though dogs are probably the single most beloved animal that humans treat? Like, we kill lions because they threaten us. Dogs, we like made our friends. So why is, why is, why is calling people dogs negative? It's like a huge cluster of seemingly random, incoherent associations that you have to kind of examine on a case by case, you know? That's a lot of words, Masagui. That's a lot of words. Can we get a yappin' emote? You guys would just use it on me! You wouldn't use it on each other like you should, you would use it on me! That's the point. Yeah, I'd be mean. Also, orcs are a personification of evil. Yeah, it is It is worth pointing out that, like, when people say orcs, the closest association is Tolkien, and in Tolkien's lore, orcs are literally elves that have been, like, genetically metastasized and brutalized to become inherently evil and ruinous by an evil god. So it's, 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 it's a, it's a whole thing. Look, I mean, you can argue with the facts, man. There were literally people adding me being like, how dare you say this? Russians are animals. They're not people. So like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. Um, I feel like that's probably like not very dialectical in my humble opinion. JLK, that's the same words that Masagui said. What are you copy pasting Masagui for? What is wrong with you? Oh my god, that's- don't- don't start that trend. It's bad enough when people repeat their own shit. Jesus Christ. Fucking... Tape passing the torch? Jesus. So it's okay to call the Russians hobbits? The- the crazy thing is, I don't even care that much about the orcs thing. Because Russians aren't, like, an oppressed minority in the countries where people are saying it. Maybe, like, in the long run with Ukraine. The thing that bothered me is that someone was giving me updates in the war in Ukraine from a Twitter account that was calling Russians orcs. And I am not getting news? from a source that does that. Are you kidding me? I wouldn't get a source. I wouldn't want to get source or, or like information on the on the war from a source that called the Russians like ruinous. Like any uh, any like narrativization is like a potentially a pollution of the information. It's propagandistic, you know? So like the most of my frustration was the fact that it was like people were perceiving this to be like a legitimate source of news or whatever. And it's like, man, um, yeah. Like, I don't care that much. It's mostly, but I, I will say it is pretty meaningful that me getting annoyed about the orcs thing led to a bunch of unhinged racist rambling in my DMs from like NAFO types. Benjamin, answer your own questions in your own damn head. Think for like two seconds. You think maybe some things are more propagandistic than others? What, do we consume no news? You have the answer to this in your head. You have the faculties up here. You didn't have to type that. Yeah, I, I, I saw Posadish John. Do you think the go to the trenches comment might be a bit more insensitive given Ukraine is the one being invaded and slaughtered? Wasn't, was that the like, uh, Russian Nazis and Ukrainian Nazis joke? Like, for, for ethno-nats on both sides, both of you get to the trenches and fight or something? Was, wasn't, wasn't the specific context of that joke, like the, uh, uh, like, the Hitlerites on both sides or whatever? Like the Banderites and the, 
the 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 Russian. I mean, th no, I I don't think that's sensitive at all. <laughs> I fucking, I yeah, go yeah, like go forth. I guess I don't know. Fucking this is the clip that's going viral on Twitter. It's not. First of all, you guys have a different standard for, for virality than I do. Second of all, I, it I saw I saw the clip and it's clipped. It's like there's cuts in it. So like that's what I'm asking. Was that not in the context of like uh, the Hitlerite types on both sides? And if it was, then that's the statement. I don't like. Why, why, why should I engage with someone like chewing up my own words? You know, do you think saying a massive swath of Ukrainians want an ethnic conflict was incorrect? I mean, judging by my DMs at the moment, uh, I, did I say a massive swath of? Uh, I yeah, probably. Uh, yeah, that's no, that's probably correct. Yeah, for sure. Do you think Ukrainians are like a magical kind of people? where they don't, like, I don't know, adopt extreme ethnic biases based on long-running, like, deeply held national or ethnic conflict? Like, do you think they're magic? Do you think being on the on the right side in a conflict means that you, like, magically don't develop the bad biases? Like, I, I, don't, I don't know. I wouldn't sway a massive swath, I don't think. Well, thankfully, I engaged in the dishonest debate tactic of using a non-specific number, so it's unfalsifiable and I can't be, uh, <clears throat> can't be proven wrong. Okay, I'm a gold dude. I don't really get the orc thing when Vosh focusing in the hard R versus soft A thing was much weirder. What was weird about it, Blue Shift Star? Vosh, if that was true, why do Ukrainian far-right parties get less than 3% of votes? If it was the case, the ethnic Russian Jewish president wouldn't be so popular. Okay, Comrade Robin Hood, I don't know what you're on about right now. I, I like you, like, think for a second, man. Come on. Do you, do you think there might be, like, ways of, of threading this needle that aren't, like, a massive swath of Ukrainians are Nazis, like literal Nazis. In terms of like people who want to make it a broader ethnic conflict, like yeah, obviously, no shit. There were problems with that even before the war. Like it's not as though hatred between Russians and Ukrainians isn't a mostly Ukrainians towards Russians for like gr like legitimized or I guess informed hatred, but like you know, it's a problem. Uh, like uh, people are people interpret this as a like a, uh, like a specific attack on Ukraine. You guys are not dialectical enough for me, personally. You need to deliberalize, okay? This is a broad issue. Do you want an honest answer about what was weird about the hard R, soft A thing? Sure, go right ahead. I would agree the liberals. Do I'm not the this is this is one of those things. This thing has happened so many times in my career. I can I can like see the the smoke before the fire, okay? I don't have I don't give a shit that much about the orc thing. I'm not I don't flip out. I'm not like fucking soy raging. I don't have like a pink bob that I'm I'm like screeching over it, okay? I just I someone linked me news about the war from a source saying orc and I'm just not trusting that shit. And I thought that was pretty dumb. Like, why would you link me info? Like, I'm going to learn from a post that's doing that. And then, like, let's be real here. Yes, there are a decent number of people who use Orc as a kind of, like, broad ethnic uh, uh, slur against Russians, okay? No, it's not like saying the hard R. It's not the same. It's, everyone wants to, like, oh, well, it's like this, it's like that. No, it's just like itself. But then it's mostly people arguing back against that that I get frustrated with. And now, of course, there's a bunch of people who are being unironically racist against Russians and my DMs and emails. So it's not a big deal. Other people make it a big deal. Not me. Everyone, chat brings it up over and over. It becomes a big deal. You add to a pile of shit. I don't think many people got that last time. Yeah, because uh, you don't fucking listen to me. Exactly, nuts. Nuts. The best chatter. Exactly. Vosh is like, that's kind of cringe. It's not that deep. Fucking hangnails, like sharp. Oh, that's so annoying. Hard R is worse. I agree. You shouldn't say the N-word with the hard R. Hard R. Can I say orc with the hard R? No, you have to say oak, but only in a song. Vosh, dehumanizing enemy combatants to make it more palatable to shoot them is like War 101. The point is explicitly to dehumanize the invading war criminal enemy combatants. Dehumanizing the invaders unironically is a boost for Ukrainian morale. Okay, can you think of like any long standing issues with that in concept? Because like Technically, that is an element of training soldiers to an extent. It depends army by army. It varies. But like, can you, you can understand like, like there are, there are issues with that, I assume. Like war itself is uh, sometimes an unfortunate, not even a necessity, you know, like an unfortunate uh, efficiency. There's also a difference between Ukra Ukrainian soldiers. saying, Yeah, most of the people who are getting ass mad about this are the... Um, are like, are like Westerners, NAFO types. Do they think Vosh is getting racist DMs from Ukrainians in the trenches? 
That as funny as that would be. I agree with your idea that getting news from uh, sources that use terms like orcas dumb and irrational, but disagree with your framing of Ukrainians using it in a Nazi-esque statement. Which, look, I just said ethnic slur. That's all I said, man. Okay, not to say there aren't Ukrainian Nazis. It's been known, you know, the whole Banderite thing. Uh, but like, yeah, it's more akin to something like pig to them. Yeah, but like ethnic slur that means pig is also pretty bad, right? <laughs> like, you know. Isn't calling cops pigs also dehumanizing? Yeah, wasn't calling um, Alexander the Great of Macedonia a lion dehumanizing? All animal invocations are the same. I agree. Twitter, uh, tw uh, Twitter trans dog girls are like Nazis calling Jews rats. Everything is the same. Nothing means anything. Not to mention people don't choose to be Russian, but they do choose to be cops and cons. And like I said, all of this has to be analyzed on an individualistic basis. You know what I want to avoid? Let's let's put on our thinking caps and just think to the future. Let's say, best case scenario, let's say somehow Ukraine ends up retaking its territory. All of it. Uh, you know, um, uh, the, the Donbass, um, you know, just everything. Even um, Crimea. It uh, gets it all back. And they managed to secure their border and blah de blah Okay, don't you think it would be really uh, bad, like, potentially in the long run, uh, to sort of cement and, uh, like, entrench ethnic bias in that eventuality? Like, obviously, Ukraine is going to have a closed border with Russia. I really don't think this war is going to end with them being like, ah, oh, yeah, man, like, people can move freely. They're going to have, like, probably a demilitarized zone with soldiers on both ends of it. You know, there's going to be constant attacks, but, like, back and forth. There's going to be incidents with sh soldiers shooting at each other, same as, like, other DMZs, right? Uh, there's going to be, like, the constant, like, tense back and forths between, uh, you know, Ukrainian and Russian politicians. And in that environment, you know, the only hope for long-term peace, real peace, not just, like, passivity, right, and quiet, real peace, uh is going to have to be, like, everyone chilling out. Like, everyone. Even if the Ukrainians are the more aggrieved individuals there, everyone would have to chill out in the long run, right? So, my, I guess my concern would be that, like, Ukrainians have been given every reason in the world to hate the Russians, man. Like, I, I'm not saying broad ethnic bias is justified. I'm only saying that, like, in terms of arguments in favor from an irrational perspective i mean a lot stack in the deck there and uh you know in the long run there is the potential for antagonism from ukraine to perpetuate that dynamic now is that guaranteed no of course not is russia by far at the moment and probably in the future the greater antagonist in this respect yes is russia racist yes but all that being said i just think that you know it's it's something worth being considerate of I, do, I certainly don't like these Western NAFO types fanning the flames uh, w with the uh, ethnic antagonism, you know, motherfuckers living in Michigan being like, yeah, you know, Russians are just like naturally barbaric people. Shut the fuck up. Go back to playing Hearts of Iron 4. Get out of here. Come on. A proper material like uh, assessment of the dynamic at play here makes it pretty clear that uh, nation and ethnicity are the sources of this conflict fundamentally, right? Like, you know, Russia invokes them as a pretext for its invasion. So in the long run, like a de-emphasization of these, uh, these systems will be necessary to uh, hopefully achieve real peace in the long run. You know, that's my hope. Clan Rat, what are you on about? How dare you be racist towards the people attacking you? What the fuck? Clan Rat, are you, are you, are you memeing me right now? Do you think that if, like, a black guy hit you, you got to be racist to the butt? Like, I'm, I know I'm, I'm reductio ad absurdum in this, but that's the logical consequence of the thing that you just said. What are you talking about? Do you honestly think most Ukrainians used orc as a broader statement of ethnicity? Dude, dude, I don't know. Find me a poll on it. I know some do because I see it in my mentions. Uh, like, that's it. Come on, shape up. Get the wax out of your ears. Like, it's obviously a thing that happens. I'm not saying everyone who said orc when referring to any given Russian soldier is racist or whatever. Like, come on. You, you're you trying to fish out, like, huge denunciations out of me. I think I'm spitting some pretty obvious and straightforward shit. I don't know what you'd... Like, come on. I don't know. I don't... I cannot look into the, you know, the peer into men's hearts. I don't know what exactly everyone means when they, like, spit on the ground and talk about, like, the filthy orcs to the east or whatever. I'm not, like, psychic. Uh, you know, it's, 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 it's some variety there. I just... I don't think I'm being that crazy. I agree that it's wrong, but I also understand why they would call Russian soldiers orcs. It's wrong that they do, but let's face it, 
if it was my city being bombed, I wouldn't give two shits. I mean, that's not much of a moral argument, but yeah, I'm not going into Ukraine and like arguing with Ukrainians. I'm just, you can't. I'm I'm denouncing internationalism on the grounds that uh, you can't say shit without someone being like, did you know there's someone else who isn't listening to this, but who might be, that has a different life than the one I'm living, but I'm arguing in their stead. And this is like every, you know, like, um, you know, your, your broad, like, generalized statement about humanity failed to take into account the life experiences of somebody who might exist somewhere else, and I'm gonna get mad at you over it. Like, okay, I mean, that's true. I, if, if I was talking to, like, a vet of the Ukraine war and he was like, er, those filthy Russians, I wouldn't be like, well, you know, I think you should be specific when you talk about the fact that you were the soldiers because you don't want to imply that the ethnic was the, was the Russian, was the brown, blah, blah. Like, I wouldn't do that, but, like, you haven't seen me do that. You're just assuming I would do that. <laughs> That's reasonable. That was the impression I got, not gonna lie, though. That's because you had a stroke, Emma Gold, dude, and you misinterpreted my position so catastrophically that it caused you to imagine things. But you're better now, and we can move forward from this point. Saw some people say you're finally going against Ukraine. Yeah, people are crazy, dude. I can't say shit, man. You mention, you say like, I'm, I'm like the ultimate fucking, I'm the ultimate fucking like enlightened centrist because if you take any one of my positions out of context and hyper like exacerbate them to the point of absurdity, I believe everything simultaneously. In the segment that that then then led to that of me arguing with chat over that, I was saying that I supported the U.S. government no longer blocking arms to the Azov battalion. So like, imagine clipping the fifty or so like peaks and valleys of that stream out and cutting those together. Like, oh, he supports. Ukraine oh he's a Banderite Nazi oh he's pro-Russia and it's like fucking oh I guess he just believes everything oh he fucking is glad the ASOP battalion's getting armed but oh he's saying that he wishes the current commander of the ASOP battalion who was part of a far-right like white supremacist group uh back in college or whatever was like killed in action in Mario pool but oh, but he actually says that you know he still supports the fucking arming of conflict because there's plenty of recruits that are coming to the ASOP battalion that aren't actually Nazis and are just like being brought into the 12th grade oh, now he's saying you probably shouldn't call Russian orcs and it's like oh, it's like man Chris, uh, he believes everything at once when we take every one of his positions and slice them up and put them in a vacuum and then blow them up into hyperbole so they don't represent or their original state in any form he actually holds all positions simultaneously that's crazy how does he do that i hit my elbow on the desk really hard by the way it's whoo that hurt Vosh admit he had a bad take challenge level impossible. I will, I like Gen Selly 55. I'm not gonna, I have to say, I, I don't understand what powers people like you. It's genuinely crazy to me, you know? People, uh, people, I, th this is another one of those like simultaneous, uh, mutually irreconcilable positions where I, on one hand, I walk back everything. I'm like, uh, I'm like a sneaky debate lord who will say wrong things, then walk it back. But I'm also, I also never walk anything back and I hold the bad positions forever. The bad position in this case being like not being super fond of ethnic slurs. So, you know. <laughs> Whoa, is, is Vosh finally a true lefty? Has he denounced, has he denounced ethnic slurs? Oh, wait, he's, he's doing a segment on the nuanced difference between the hard R and the soft A and whether or not a white person should be allowed to say either one and what it means to call somebody having said the N-word when they actually just said the soft A. Never mind, he's not as anti-slur as we thought. Send them back to the pit. Right back over there. Yeah, clan right. You have to be really careful. When people fucking hate you and take your shit out of context, you can accidentally find yourself in positions where you're arguing in favor of things you don't actually believe. You know what I mean? And then like you have to be careful because it's actually very easy to get tripped up like that, you know? Um, it's basically like the IRL equivalent of the Looney Tunes bit where people like duck season rabbit season you into arguing shit you don't believe. You know, it's it's crazy.